Okay, so last time we played, you guys maneuvered around the what's the fourth level of the guild hall. Uh, when you first entered the guild, well, I guess at the very beginning of the session, you guys finished up with the third level and got through the uh, Terrison Temple and uh, were able to get through a bunch of the wards placed by uh, Joe happening to have the Orb of Unseen, which was required. Um, and then you got the third part of the Scion, the Compass, and moved on to the fourth level. At the beginning of the fourth level, you uh, entered what was the Room of Four Times, and these weird wolf creatures uh, appeared and then uh, kind of seemed a little annoyed with you, and then they just kind of stepped away and disappeared. Um, you haven't seen them since. Then we took on some phase fighters in a room with columns that looked kind of like the carried column room above, but instead of having columns uh, that attacked, it had phase fighters that appeared out of nowhere. Um, you dealt with a uh, uh, like a study which had a bunch of spider eggs in it, which you then torched yep. and yep. saw little fiery balls of spiders running at you yep. as they died. Uh, not long after that, you found the stairs to the next level. <laughs> Um, which required using a prestigitation spell to open the door. Um, after that, you found a basically a research lab that dealt with bat uh, basilisk, but there were two dead bodies in there, as well as a dead basilisk that had uh, the, the two dead bodies were looked like they had been killed probably by the basilisk, but the basilisk itself had uh, gnaw marks on it, like it had been uh, bitten by something large. Uh, but there was just bones left, you guys didn't really mess with them, you thought about it for a while, but then you were like, no, I don't want to touch that. Uh, you then moved on to a, another temple, this time a temple of Resa, which had uh, two death dogs in it and this mechanical chronomancer thing, which tried to do some time spells on you, but it wasn't very effective and it wound up getting itself killed rather quickly. I remember what happened to We got lucky though. <laughs> uh, after that, you guys moved through a long hallway and research or uh, ransacked some dormitories, searching for anything useful. Um, Kabar managed to find an amulet that uh, you're, you're pretty sure is the amulet that is cursing Naren to have basically an uh, undeath uh, for eternity. Um, after that, you guys continued on, opened up the mess hall, which turned out to have some zombie um, journeymen, which kind of just stumbled around and got killed by you. Uh, found the kitchen, then you moved on, uh, you found uh, another another wing of the building, the <clears throat> basically like a detention room. Uh, it had two prison cells uh, with a bunch of torture equipment that looks like it had never been actually used, um, and based on what you discovered and read, it sounded like they used it essentially just to remind the people who were stuck in there about how barbaric other people are and they'd actually be using the torture equipment. Well, meanwhile, they'd just be stuck sitting in the cells. Uh, you then moved on down the corridor and found a strange book with signatures on it on a altar. Uh, Joe decided to sign his name to see what would happen and he reappeared after slowly fading out for about a minute. He reappeared in a room all by himself where he was pretty much eaten alive by a giant purple worm. Uh, after that, he Phased through a couple of different uh, <laughs> scenarios. Basically, it was like he went through the past, present, and the future, and got to see the town and the people there. And then he convinced them that the best way to defend themselves was to <laughs> rub their bellies and pat their heads. Uh, it did not seem very effective. Uh, and then after that, he reappeared. And then a few a minute or so later. Uh, a ghostly apparition appeared and asked him a simple question, what did he learn? And it said he was very close and asked him for a rewording, but he fumbled and asked for to call a friend, and eventually the spirit said, maybe next time, and disappeared. And that is where we ended. Oh. So, you guys are in the long hallway <coughs> of the Guild Hall level 4, and you're kind of just looking at Joe, looking at Joe, trying to figure out what the heck has just happened. The door didn't open? No door opened. Okay. Are you okay? 
Yeah, no. Uh, it's some sort of, like, game or something. Ooh, you look pretty bad. Uh, no, it hurt. Because it's a wizard game. Oh. So they won't let you die, but, you know, burn scars and cool or whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Did you get any lightning-shaped scars? So, I lift up my shirt to check. <laughs> no. It was uh, a, te a test or a game or what? Yeah, um, I mean, oh, you guys didn't hear. So, I guess after it was all over, this apparition just asked me what I learned, and my answer wasn't enough. <clears throat> so, it's one of those you learn a moral type of things. Um, like a fable? Yeah, I just don't know what the fable is. It, moral is, is it the, um, you recall what we read on the wall for Ra Raisa? She had her, her saying, or what have you. Do you recall? Nope. Do you? No. Um, I run back to the wall. It's a long run. Yeah. Is it? It's yes. not a short run. Where are you going? It's around the guild hall, basically. I run 105 feet every six seconds. It's like five inches away. Or five seconds away. <laughs> <laughs> um, just go write it down, I guess. Yeah. You, you guys want to walk there, or you just want me to run? It'd be great if one of us ever learns haste. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll tag along. I almost got the that spell that lets me run a little bit faster. Uh, expeditious retreat. Yeah. Mm. Zipper strike is so much better. Actually, uh, expeditious retreat is not any better than just your dash action. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do you any good at all. I don't think. No. All right. So we go back to the wall. Okay. Wait, it's blacker. You're blind. Oh, it's up there. And just for uh, Chris's sake, what's out on the table is not the current <laughs> floor you're on. Ah. That <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah. Why is there so much fog of war? <laughs> I thought we, we were here. Wait, what wall? All right, so when we get over there, I'm going to look and commit to memory the saying <laughs> verbatim. If it was a map, I would have. Man. When you get over there, also give me a wisdom check. Okay. Or sorry, an, uh, a uh, religion check. Uh, it's not going to. Unless we're all doing it. It's, it's five, unless someone's helping me. Sure, why not? Okay. A one. Whoa. Okay. Not much help. I, I thought you were helping me. I, just, I don't say a word. <laughs> just wanted to make sure that you guys were still the uh, religious experts. Yeah, we you were. Exactly. No, it's... Um, it's come on. They're courting me, guys. I rolled it's a not, two. It's not the other way around. <laughs> Yikes. And okay. two. Maybe you should just ride to town. I'm pretty sure with a two for me. Alright, yeah, so the, the inscription upon the altar reads, The goddess of natural death, Raisa, keeps the world on a purposeful course. As the cycle of life continues, so does our quest for greater knowledge. <clears throat> Accept your mortality and be more driven for it. I wrote down five of those words. Okay. Can you see Yeah, that? I can see that. So, accept your mortality. Be driven. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm not good at riddles. Except for that one, for some reason. And that one that you just <laughs> Oh, destroyed. yeah. That was amazing. We would have been there for a while. I was impressed. God is a natural death where he so keeps the world over. Okay. I don't think it's a real. It's just. Well, because using this and. It's a philosophy. Do yeah. you guys want to go through the whole game too? No. Well, okay. someone has to so that the apparition appears again. I kind of do. Why don't you just do it again? By myself? Uh, I'll go. You want to go? Sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. I don't know if we go so, together so, or like separate instances of it. What if we s sign our names at the same time? Yeah. All right. I have no idea what will happen. <clears throat> I don't. But this time, okay. So I'm assuming you explained the whole thing to us. Okay. As well as Joe would. All right. Explain anything. So this time, I suggest we have them kill the worm. Kill the, as soon as the guy shows up with the baby worm. Mm -hmm. Just kill it. Or just refuse it. Death to the worm person. No, not the guy. I mean. Nope. Kill the guy too. What makes you think it's going to be the same rail? Mm. I have an. I have. I just. Because feeling. everything so far has been pretty simple. I have a feeling that it's these people are supposed to accept that they might get killed. Would you like to hear my hypothesis? Sure. Yeah, go ahead, tell us. Like, wow, Rinless gonna talk to us. <laughs> We're so honored. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your actions in this are entirely important. I think that it is Based on this philosophy, it is supposed to um, elucidate some sort of meaning for you. 
that you can then give the moral of the story. So regardless of your decisions, the outcome is going to be ultimately the same. Uh, oh, yeah. That's I was just saying, point. how can we screw with the game? But oh, yeah, I see. Because I <laughs> have to go through it for the apparition. You're, trying to, you're going to try and break it. You're going to break it? The, the, what do they call that in Star Trek? Then you break the game. The the uh, the hollow or the whatever it's called. Yeah, the Japanese name something something. Nope, remember? all different. I think in, in the start. Do you remember what I'm talking break, about? Break, like a term for breaking the game. No, no, no. Or the game or the 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 trial that they have. The to trial. Do. The Kobayashi Maru. That's it. Yeah. Man, I in my head I was thinking Kobayashi Maru, but I was that, like, that's what no, was, that's that's not it. That's what I was thinking, but I was like, and I don't, I I don't know why I remember that because I, I don't know why trekkie. either. I'm not a big Trekkie, but for some reason that sticks in my head. It's weird. Um, but I wasn't sure what he was asking. Like, I wasn't <laughs> sure if he was looking for that or like some sort of term for something. That's why I had to clarify. Mm -hmm. We'll look for some wall hacks. Or the, not wall hacks. We'll just try and like. We might be able to kill that first worm. Maybe if we take a rest. No, we're fine. Uh, thirty-seven. Yeah, you have three hundred. You have thirty-seven times more hit points than I do. <laughs> and you don't want to take a rest. <laughs> no, death is inevitable. You have to acknowledge your mortality. We also have to be driven for it. Yeah. By ex just letting yourself die, I don't think that's. I think I'm going to dive headlong into this. Are we back at the book yet? Yeah. DM. Yeah, you can. Back Master back. of all time and space. Yes, over here. Okay. Can we at least give it a fair shot? Come on. You want to rest? Maybe. Like, I'm going to pop out of this with one HP regardless. Eh, it doesn't cost us anything. I say whatever the in-game equivalent of one HP is. I'm going to come out of this barely, barely alive. <laughs> I should not be this chipper. Like, one eye is probably swollen and shut. <laughs> probably and I had a collapsed lung. <laughs> probably carrying you. <laughs> if you want, I can go through by myself. I, what? You didn't want to go through I don't. But I also don't want to sit here alone while you two go through. We can all go through together. <laughs> yeah, this all sign at once. In case I would have mi I missed something. Even though, do you already have an answer? We should probably get the answer before we go through. Is it written on the back page of the book? I look in the back page of the book. Uh, the back page of the book is, is blank. There's a lot of blank pages. <laughs> you would do that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Vandalism. It's an elf penis. <laughs> I can't see it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, half work. Wow. <laughs> we promise never to talk about these things. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up. The characters, not me. <clears throat> uh, all right. I'm going to start writing my name and whoa, start whoa, disappearing. Whoa. And if you guys want to sign your name, go for it. I'll sign my name. Okay. Uh, Joe signs his name and. With a flourish. Ooh, with a flourish. How flourishy. Sure. Flourish is an item I keep in my pocket. And that's what I used to write with with a floor. It's kind of like a floor. Yeah. Floor-ish. That was stupid. I, it's, I it's apologize. Right. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday. Okay, so uh, a white glow envelops Joe as he slowly begins to start fading. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. So Kabar signs his name as well, and a white glow then envelops, envelops Kabar as well. I also do it. <laughs> and then... Against my better judgment. <laughs> Now, Daniel anyway, signs his name. You have to do three separate. <laughs> nope, that's not how it works. Oh. So the three of you. Maybe one of us should have ended up with more than one HP after all this. God damn it, I told you. No, <laughs> like at the end of this all, we're all going to have one HP, right? Yep. Not if we win. All right. Oh, the, God, you didn't say it was this big. What happens if we kill each other? The three of you appear uh, together. Uh, no one's no one's dead. Uh, and you're Scary. you're all in the same instance. Uh, you're inside of a an average looking town. Uh, it hmm. looks like there are a lot of empty houses and a lot of empty buildings that have been basically boarded over. And there's a congregation of people that are headed to what looks to be the front of town. Where is this worm? You told us there was a worm. The other one who said it's probably going to be a different game this time. I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah, you get dead. He and said I that. walk. I walk to. Are we? Are we all the same to you? Are we just your your servants? I follow him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a rock at him. He dies. Uncanny dodge. Just you kidding. realize all the people are dressed in uh, dark colors, and they're walking uh, outside of town in like a procession. Hmm. Is it a funeral procession? Uh, it kind of gives you that kind of feel, but you don't see any casket caskets or anything. It's just oh, it's a like a, a large group of people. It looks like it might even be the entire town. It's, um, it's, uh, 
So yeah, about how many people? Sweet sixteen. Um, probably a, a little under a hundred. Oh wow. Okay. All hmm. right. You want to join him or you want to stand back? Mm-hmm. Both. Uh, okay. We follow behind at a respectful distance. Yeah. Okay. The uh, whatever that means to you, DM. Slight outside of town, uh, you come across uh, a massive graveyard. Uh, there's just rows and rows. All the graves look very similar, um, and there are some priests uh, dressed in uh, gray robes leading what looks to be a pro, uh, basically a funeral or a remembrance ceremony. The townspeople are ringed around, and you quickly realize that all of these gravestones are roughly the same age. <coughs> hmm. What age would that be? They Six. look like they're maybe a year or two, or two old, hmm. but, but all the people died in the same time period. Uh, so, last time, they accepted me as just like a normal person. Like, I didn't stand out to anyone. I look at myself to see if I look like Renleth. You look like yourself. Yeah. Good. <coughs> Is this Kabar and Joe look normal as well when you look at them? We all look like Oh, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> you, they look like their normal selves. Oh. Uh-huh. Fish face and, and yeah. uh, um, animal mask boy. Animal head boy. With a hood on top. Right. Maybe this is the the, maybe this is the next level, guys. Maybe it's a linear progression. That's not how it works. Oh, you're an expert now? <laughs> you gone through once? So they've made it to the graveyard. Yes. Are people starting to organize themselves? Okay. And the They're basically just ringed start. around the priest, listening to the, the ceremony. I, I'd like to move up so that I can hear. Okay. Uh, when you get next to someone, they, they turn and say, Oh, how many did you lose? So many. Zero. The person starts to nod at Kabar and then stops and just look their eyes wide and at you. Do you have no family in the first place? Or did you have no family in the first place? I'm an emissary for Reza. His jaw just kind of drops and he says, oh, okay. Just jumping right in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Going all out right at the at the, the, the person turns back to Kabar and says, I lost everyone except for my daughter. Yeah. Yep, I lost old Billy. Oh. Billy. Jean. I remember Billy, that's very sad. It is. I miss his shoes. Ah, he did have special shoes. His uh, laugh. What do you. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to what, him. What do, you, what do you miss in a person? I've never done I don't this. understand this. And you, did you lose anyone? I'm gonna go god mode. <laughs> <laughs> I am <don't> god. <laughs> Save state. Oh, yeah. Uh, six. Six? That's I was understandable. All brothers and sisters. I was septuplets. <clears throat> that's that's remarkable. I didn't know we had that in the town, but memories fall short when there's that many deaths so quickly. But everything seems to be better now, so that's good. I did. I think so. How is it better? Oh. Well, no one else I didn't has think been dying. Questions last time I was so, playing this game. <laughs> whatever happened, it was for the best. Yeah. What? When that thing happened. My memory's a little fuzzy, though. Oh? Yeah, I was uh, knocked unconscious, so I've only heard stories. Well, it wasn't that fast. It, it took a long time. It was a coma. Oh, that's understandable. The hospital was busy at the time. All right. So I like to hear other people's side of the story. Oh, so you don't remember exactly what happened? I wasn't. Yeah, correct. Well, let me remind you. <clears throat> and with that, the vision fades and changes. Oh god, what'd I do? <laughs> For, ever, for all of us, or...? For everybody. Okay. Uh, you guys can give me a perception check in the process. Natural 20. Ooh, Natural 20. I don't even wow. need to roll. 17 plus 5. Okay, you need to roll after... 6. Okay, well... Maybe. Joseph, Joseph Olympias, because he was, he was looking for the munchies at the table. Um, but uh, the two of you noticed, like, out of the corner of your eyes, just like a faint imprint. It's not actually in the corner of your eyes. You realize it's almost like an imprint on your eyes as you're fading. And the word past appears for just a split second. Oh, interesting. So the vision changes and you're back in the town, except it's lively and bustling. There's a lot more people. None of the places are closed down. <clears throat> However, there's a contention of priests moving down the, uh, basically the road. And with them, they have a basically a cart with a cage. And inside the cage are a number of people who are lying on basically, uh, not even bunks, they're just kind of hard benches. Hmm. It must be a pretty big cage then. Yeah. 
I mean, it's 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 a large. They're they're crammed in there. There's yeah. there's about six people in there right now, but they look like they don't care about their comfort level or anything. They're just basically thrown onto each other. Um, but it's a large like large wagon cage. Are there guards, people, people monitoring the cage, or are they just kind just of just there? the priests? Walk up to a priest. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? We're taking care of the people. How? <clears throat> By getting rid of the bad ones. How, how is this determined? By the priestly sect. It's none of your business. Oh, I believe it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're just getting rid of people that will cause more problems in the future. What problems? Death, destruction. It's things you couldn't understand. Death and destruction are both natural. They are natural, but this is not. How is this not natural? <clears throat> These people need to be killed. You do not answer questions. I understand you don't think you answer to me, but as it is, you do answer to me <clears throat> as I intimidate the one that I'm talking to. Okay. It's like you're all intimidation better than I do. It's only 13. The priest kind of puffs up and says, look, you're just a common person. Can I help him out? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can also get in their face if you want. Oh. I mean... Right now, I'm assuming you and Joe are hanging back. Oh. I'm hanging back. <clears throat> At this point, I'm actually more curious to see how he plays the game. <laughs> right. I look for Easter eggs. <laughs> Is that guy Mario? No, he has a Mario hat! <laughs> look, the developer signed his name. Anyways, the priest puffs up and says, Look, this is for the good of the people. And people of your intelligence level can't understand what we're doing here. Good. It's for a good purpose. So just understand okay. that. And with that, he, he motions to two of the other priests and they basically barge into another, uh, begin barging into another one of the houses and drawing people out of it. Okay. Uh, I guess, are there, are there any other guards separately from the one he talked to? Uh, they're not really guards, they're priests. Or priests. Or... Um, but there's, there's about six of them. So yeah, okay. two of them are currently busting into a house, uh, two more are near the, one's driving, one of them's talking to him, and then the other one is basically, looks like they're manning the cage door. Is this, is this the leader guy? Uh, Maybe? They all are dressed similarly. I guess we'll this guy looks a little bit more physical than the other ones, mm -hmm. that might be why he's talk now still talking to you, but um, otherwise, no, he doesn't look really any different from the other ones. Okay. Um. I'll approach the two that are busting into the house. Okay. One of them puts its hands up and says, Stand away, you understand, we've got to do this. Uh, there must be some sort of mistake. These are, uh, these are people from out of town. What? They, they have a, they live here in the house. They're no, this is, <laughs> this is my Airbnb. I rent this out. You don't live here. You live down the street. You're right, because this is my rental. I don't even understand what you're saying. Okay. What's going on? These, but we know who these people are, and we need to take them away for your safety. Can, but what did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they are. What are they? Danger. Okay, how? Be specific. I'm very <clears throat> slow. These people will kill you if left here. How? <clears throat> well, it's not something I can easily explain. Try. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, 18. Okay. The person finally stops and while, and motions for the other person who's manning the gate currently to run over and basically help pull people out. And this person stops and finally says, look, I try not, we try not to explain this to the townspeople because they just simply can't understand, but this is for the greater good. <sighs> that didn't help. <laughs> I guess. Like Grindelwald. Ask the... These people will afflict you and kill you if we leave them. <clears throat> With what? A sickness? A, a curse? Or what? I don't want to cause undue fear, so I'd rather not discuss it openly in public, but very quietly he says, A plague. Ah! Do I have the plague? A plague! <laughs> ah! 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 The plague! No, just kidding. I'm, uh, I am. Oh god. Do I have it? How do I know? Unless you were over next to him, you didn't hear him because he, he lowered his voice significantly. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> a, a plague, you say. That's right. What, what proof do we have that these people are sick? 
Common medicine can't d detect it yet. Then how do you know? Through our priestly magic. Are you saying your but science to, is better than their magic? But there's there, there's no cure that will take effect before it afflicts these people further. What happens to them? They die. Okay. And they spread it. Is it just a contagious very. thing? By the time symptoms show, it's contagious. So you you must be very brave to be uh, be here Again, and getting them. By the time symptoms show, it's contagious. We detected where the symptoms are. I see. Well, okay then. And I go relay this information to them. Okay. And they finish dragging out half that household, mostly children. And they... Oh, wait, hold the phone. Okay. Children. That's right. Doesn't matter who you are. Mm -hmm. Children and the elderly are most susceptible. That doesn't feel good. Just remember, it's not. What? <laughs> <laughs> what if this is the real life? Or where we came from wasn't real? Is this, what if this is all a, a dream? <clears throat> Renleth quickly shakes that off. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Do we take the red or blue pill? I think we just kill ourselves and we'll be free. Uh, let's do team white. I'll talk to the, the priest again. And I'll make some poison. Say, well, it seems to me if the plague is the concern, then the afflicted must be cleansed immediately. That's right. Why? Treating them is too risky. Why, then, are you holding them here? In this cage. We're not going to kill them in front of them. We need to dispose of them discreetly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're not trying to cause them. If you'd like, I can incinerate them right here, right now. That's what and I have to put a, <laughs> a bit of fire at the end of my finger. He, he doesn't seem to react at all. That's all right for this problem. Hmm. I'm, are, are we next to each other? Like Probably. He went over and talked to him, and I'm sure he started talking to this guy immediately without <laughs> thinking. Has there been any attempt to cure them or to help them? It would be too slow. We could, we'd risk the contagion spreading. Oh, no, this is a game. Just move to the next level, guys. <laughs> <laughs> although Just tell them to pat their stomachs. Although we could try that. That's how I won. We should. You think it would be better to try treating them? Absolutely. Well, safely. You'd have to you know, make sure there's barriers in place. I just so don't understand escape. how you know. If they're <laughs> yeah. not symptomatic, how do you know? We detect a magic. Magic is not real. Yeah. Do you think we should try treating them rather than killing them? Uh, I say more. I don't. Scary. I don't know enough. I don't have enough information. You don't share information, and um, you think I am a, some sort of a fool. So I can't help you. I will okay, not help you. Upset at the game. Idiots. You chose you stupid <laughs> spiritual idiots. You choose no course of action. What about you, the silent one? <laughs> <clears throat> I think one person who is accepted, expected of having the plague should live with the people who don't. That way we can spread it around and people can develop an immunity to it. Oh god, what have you done? <laughs> Immunotherapy. I'm inventing it. Have you tried washing your hands? We could do that in, in conjunction with treating the afflicted. Yeah. You treat some of the afflicted and leave one person. <laughs> do you think this is the best course of action? I do. All right. <laughs> The vision fades. <laughs> Wait, I, I, what about me? Yeah. You already gave your answer. I did. Yeah. Oh. I wanted them to save the people. Or to try. Them. Attempt to. But safely. Immunotherapy was a better idea. Alright. Uh, now that you've already seen it before, you realize as you the vision fades, you now see an imprint on your uh, eyes for a split second of the present. Uh, this time, the, the town is oh. quiet. There's not a whole lot of movement uh, around, Oops. and... Uh, basically, you're the only people on the streets. The police don't seem boarded over or anything, but m most, basically everything's shuttered. Is there a tumbleweed that passes by? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Well, did we win? Ah, let's go to the nearest building. I go inside the nearest okay. building. Uh, it, it seems to be locked. I go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see through a window? Uh, no, they're shuttered, remember? No, that you said they weren't shutting this time. Hello. They're not boarded. They're not boarded. That's right. Hello. Yeah. I knock. Uh, someone comes to the door and speaks to you, but doesn't open the door. Go away. Why? It's not safe. We. I don't want to be infected. Infected like you. How do you know I'm infected? I just assume so. Why? Because you're out and about. You must be getting infected right now. Why? Are, uh, in, why are people getting infected? The plague. I thought they cured the plague. Cured. <laughs> They're trying to treat some people, but it's just spreading through town because of the one person that stayed in town. 
That person contracted the plague and it just keeps getting worse and worse and spreading to more people. But the priests don't have time to come out and do anything because they're out trying to find a cure. Mm. I hear it's not going too well. Well, maybe I have the cure. Do you? Do I? You are the cure. It turns out the cure is fresh air. The longer you stay boarded inside a building, the more likely you are to be inflicted <laughs> with the plague. <laughs> the cure has been friendship all along. Huh. Well, Hug. we haven't really tried that yet. Yep. Uh, socialization. Hugs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Make sure you swap lots of bodily fluids. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like, you just slice, <laughs> slice hands and do, like, the whole what, brothers? bloody hand five. Yep. That's, okay. a, that's a quick conclusion in... in but but if you think that's for the best, why does everybody listen to Kabar and Joe? <laughs> you had you didn't do anything in the last level. The guy didn't talk to me properly. Mm. Can we go load state? Obviously, didn't know how to. Is there anyone else out oh, yeah, there with you? Like... I feel like there's two other people. Nope, I'm the only doctor here. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Trust me. If you're out here, you would see. Well. But I look like a doctor. The door, you hear like a chain on the door and then the door opens and there's a person with a cloth covering their mouth. <laughs> they look at you and they say, and they look around and say, oh, there are two other people. And he points to you, Kabar. What do you think? <clears throat> I have to have a play with people before. Uh, we're probably just all gonna die. Oh. So you're saying we should accept our fate? That doesn't seem like a conclusion, uh, uh, a, a, a way to fix this at all. Well, just, you know, do, do your best and all that. Oh, okay. He points to you, Renlund. What, what about you? It Leave your house. It does matter what we do. Live this your life. life. The priests are probably lying Live, because love, they laugh. usually do. Mm -hmm. There's probably not even a real plague, and they're just killing people for disgusting tests. So we should revolt against the priests oh. and kill them all. Okay. <laughs> I like that. And and the guy turns around and waves to the. Uh, Two other people and in the house. Swap, swap, probably, uh, one of them looks like they're they're walking a little slowly, um, maybe just for malnourishment. Um, and they, he tells them, "Come on, we have to get outside. It'll it'll save us." And and not listen to anybody else. <laughs> Remember just how we were priest. talking? Oh, like, just the priests. Don't listen to the priests. They're idiots. Remember how we were talking like just the. A uh, short time ago, how about murder, ho murder hoboing, <laughs> and how we aren't... We're not murdering anybody. Yeah, we're, we're setting these people free. All right, so the vision okay. the vision <laughs> goes dark again, and you see a word on your imprinted in your eyes. You Kabar didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and Kabar the vision solidifies that. again, and you're in the town again, except there are just dead bodies littering the town. Mm. They're just... Limped, fallen yes, over in the middle of town. What everything done. looks like even more people are dead than before, um, ever before. And you, you're not sure if anyone's left alive. Doors are just hanging open. Uh, people are just draped, dead. I like this. Are people dressed like priests? Uh, no, these all look like common people. Hmm. They did it. The priests. Mass genocide by the priests. Why? I do not know. But I think it's time to exact revenge on these priests. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. This isn't real, right, guys? Down, down at the end of the uh, the road, uh, towards the middle of town, you see a large temple. We head towards that. Okay. Uh, walking all the way Fireball to the temple, in each hand. there's more dead bodies littering the floor, or littering the, the streets. Does it all look like they died of disease? Uh, you want to inspect one? Yeah, Can I'll kick one over. Give me a medicine check. Literally kicking one over. Okay. <laughs> 19. Okay. All that you, for a plus you, one. You kick one over, and it's it's kind of slumps over, and the eyes are sunken, and uh, there when you kick it over, you see that there's a pool of blood under where its face was, uh, basically, and you can see that there's basically dried blood all around its mouth, and there are also pockmarks along uh, its its chest. Chicken box. He was murdered, murdered by the priests. But there's no, like, visible wounds on him other than just sores, the sores and pop marks. He, there's visible wounds everywhere, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I tell him what I see. After I said that. <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. Nothing in this game. This isn't I real, right? red and blue pill. Oh. We continue on to the temple? Okay. You get to the temple and the temple doors are shut. I open them. Okay, you pry open the temple doors, they're large, they creak open, and inside uh, you just see what light is from the outside, and immediately you see uh, half a dozen priests lying on the 
floor and over over benches and one slumped a, across the altar. We did it! Yes. You don't see any movement <clears throat> inside. Let's loot, loot the corpses. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I feel like we've kind of gotten off track here. I don't know what the track is. So let's talk about the lessons we learned. Okay. Um, you guys let death talk. Death is inevitable. Oh. Death is inevitable? Just do your best. <laughs> That's what I got. There's no consequences for trying. Well, I'm gonna go up to the <laughs> that altar, okay. um, wherever, and take a look. Uh, verify it's the same affliction as the townsfolk. Ooh, conspiracy. It looks very. Uh, give me a give me a uh, medicine. Uh, Are they really? Uh, I rolled a nineteen. Okay, I'll help him. It looks very <laughs> similar, although all the priests look like they have little vials of various colored liquids on their body or broken around them and there's a sign on the uh on one of the doors that says containment aha uh -huh. i'll knock on that okay there's no response i will open that door okay inside that door there are rows of beds probably about a dozen and each of them has a dead body lying in the bed there's uh there's uh two more priests in there they're slumped over in chairs but they're they're also dead they have masks over their faces hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Are we gonna die? Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You both answered exactly the same. Mm -hmm. For two different reasons, though. Yeah, yeah almost, almost certainly. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later, the vision fades and you're back in the hallway. So yeah, so obviously you can see why I have such a hard time explaining that. Oh, prepare. She's, she's probably gonna pop up. Over there, I say dramatically. Okay. <laughs> hard book. Check out, check your notes. <laughs> Cram, I didn't study. Brenda, you would want to usually talk to ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really great rapport with ghosts historically, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> yeah, they're they're up there with my besties. You, you got an idea? Well, what's your idea on this? Uh, basically, what's written on the wall, right? It seems to me to be some manner of analogy for um, for seeking knowledge uh, in order to understand and uh, maybe just understand, but also potentially to prevent death or at least understanding mortality. It seems like a very on the nose analogy for that with with um, seeking a cure or just burning away a pestilence i think it's like good intentions can sometimes have bad consequences at the end kind of like hmm. a female ghostly apparition appears no wait and points to all of you and says what have you okay well this is what i learned i learned that <clears throat> i don't i mean i don't want to offend you or anything oh but... boy, here we go <laughs> <laughs> But the, stares blankly at you. Yeah. <laughs> or she stands, stares blankly at you. I'm offended. <laughs> no offense, but... I learned that... <clears throat> the goddess of natural death race uh, keeps the world <laughs> on a purposeful course. As the cycle of life continues, so does our quest for greater knowledge. Accept your mortality and be driven for it. The, the apparition turns to you. Is that your answer? Yes. <clears throat> There's more to life than book knowledge. Wow. She turns <laughs> to Kabar. Fuck uh, you, Professor. Uh, <laughs> uh, good intentions can bring about bad consequences? You're very close. This is a good life lesson, but not the ultimate lesson for the test. Okay. I was closer. So, <laughs> back to the slow one. Mm -hmm. Rude. <laughs> Help us, Brenda. You're our only hope. Okay, so... So Basically, <laughs> I hate it's our that. law in life. Of course, it gets everywhere. We seek greater knowledge, and a lot of times that is in order to understand, and sometimes with the misguided thought of <laughs> <laughs> uh, the misguided thought of of being able to escape our mortality. These. However, it is oh. not so much the and as it is, is the now. the journey of understanding that 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 hunger for it's knowledge and accepting 
that our mortality will come regardless of our actions. And it is, it is the quest for knowledge um, and understanding the cycle of life that is much more critical than the end goal. Just covering all your bases there, huh? <laughs> good, good call. You answer as a student who is trying to apply their book knowledge to a long-winded essay, but still doesn't quite know the answer to the question. You are getting closer, but you're not quite there yet. And the apparition disappears. Damn it. Wait, do we need to get past this door? Is this still part of the simulation? No, we're out of this. I'm not telling you to go all spooky on us. <laughs> but are we sure we need to get past this door? Does the door have any markings or anything on it? Or a keyhole? Keyhole would be great. I almost guarantee that the next time. There is no keyhole. Is there any way for me to pick this door? Or cheat it somehow? Like, is there a stupid lever? Or... You can try to bash the door open. <clears throat> or something like that, but there's no, like, lock or anything on the door. It's just a door. Like a normal wooden door? With, like, uh, no handle? No, it's like a... It's, it's, it looks like it's a reinforced door. I mean, it's not, like, pure metal or stone or anything, but it looks like it's got reinforcements on it, so it could be pretty hard to bust through. Or you could try to break through it, chop through it. Well, my, my pal Kabar is bursting the seams of plate mail, so... <laughs> oh, you need help with something, huh? Every time he sneezes, he, like, rips the strap of his belt. <laughs> you have a strength of 20, right? I do. That's ridiculous. It is. Do you want to just open this door? I have a feeling if we do, bad things will happen, but... Right. Let's go through the game again. Can't be worse than the game. <laughs> it's not real, right, guys? I hate things that are not real. <laughs> <laughs> much just like ghosts? Everything. Yeah, well ghosts are real. I saw one. What? There's one just here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a ghost? <laughs> it's hologram, don't know. <laughs> so, Janitor. <laughs> so, Janitor's break the door, door, sign again, walk, move on. Uh, we could speed run it. What? You mean just keep jumping up and down to the next to the door and hope to glitch <laughs> through it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what speedrun means. <laughs> <laughs> you can cry though. Yeah, you have to jump and crouch. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like the jump crouch spin. <laughs> you just keep you have to face, put your back on the wall. You gotta try to climb the corner. <laughs> Put a fireball at my feet so it blasts me through. Maybe there's other hints. <laughs> We've explored this whole floor, right? Um, like as far as we know? Yeah, as far as you know. There's no door unturned. No door unturned, <laughs> except for the door to the south of this. Mm -hmm. I open the book and start to write my name again. Okay, the book was never actually closed, but you, you write your name. I close it and then I open it. <laughs> okay. Dramatically. Just, just dramatically. All right. Uh, the white light envelops Renda as uh, Peace. he begins Peace. to slowly fade. Evidently, he's made a commitment. How long was I gone? I'll let you get this. How long was I gone before? What? I'm going to take a short rest. How long was he gone? Uh, the first time in real life time. Is it like relative? Like... Less than six seconds. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because he was still casting his spell. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe it was more than six seconds, okay. but it was, it, less was, than, it was less than a minute. Because it was, it was, uh, but no, it doesn't make any difference, really, because it could have been six seconds. I was making it at the time, because the only rounds that were happening were rounds between him and the other existence. Not much time at all passed. Okay. Well, yeah. then I won't take a short rest, and I'll just sit here. Randolph will be do better without me. I don't, I honestly don't know what, yeah, we're just, I think we're stepping on each other's toes. That's probably what it is. Okay. It's like New Super Mario. I mean, on one hand, it's more it seems like thing. you guys got three three answers when you uh, finished, when all three of you were there. That's a good point, Ghost. I'm just saying that from a player Do you want to with you? perspective. Fine, I'll sign. <laughs> what do you think Kabar does? Kabar, are you coming with me? Huh? I'm signing. I'll chill. Okay. All right. So uh, Kabar decides to hang out while both of you... Kabar is um, not into spooky stuff. ...reappear. No, you're back. Spooky stuff. You're back in the town. And Not the good old days, but we're just slaughtering cats. There's a procession <laughs> leading outside cats. of the town. Everyone's dressed <clears> in black. <throat> Looks like they're following uh, some sort of uh, funeral or ceremonial procession outside of town. Does it look just like the last time we played? Yeah. Okay. Identical. Weird. I was hoping for like a third one I hadn't seen before. Wait. Just making it harder. 
Hmm? That'd just make it even harder. A third scenario. For you. <laughs> It'd be even harder for you guys, too. Alright. I run up to the front of the procession. Okay. Bullet's still moving? Yes. Okay. They, they kind of stop and look at you confused. Is there something wrong? One of the priests says. No, no. I just wanted to make sure I was here. Oh, well, fall in line. You're here. I want to be in front. <laughs> You're a child. <laughs> okay. I want to win. <laughs> Are you still standing where we appear? <laughs> I'm, I'm following along at the oh. very end. Okay, kind so of off now. <laughs> uh, they all get to the graveyard again, and the basically a remembrance ceremony starts going on. Uh, one person turns to you, uh, Joe, and says, So, how many did you lose? How many died, or how many were taken away? How many, how many, how many died? Mm. Two, three were taken I lost everyone but my daughter. Hmm, I'm happy to hear that. Sad. I'm sad to hear <laughs> that. What about you, silent guy? What have you learned? I learned. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what did this tragedy teach you? Oh, there you oh. go. Well, it taught me to appreciate that I still have my daughter. I mean, like, I'm not there. No, you're not. That's all that I'm you learned? To appreciate your daughter? Yeah. No. That's not the whole no. answer. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, there's, there's not much to learn from it. Saying that, ultimately, it's meaningless. Well, I'm just saying that, uh... There's a whole floor for that lesson? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that, uh, that's what I learned, is that I appreciate my daughter, even though I lost my wife, my son, my parents, mm -hmm. Do you trust my brothers. Priests? Do I trust the priests? Absolutely. Hmm. I walk up to... Word has it that they saved the town. Do you know what from? Hmm. Do you know it from? I do. Would you like me to tell you about it? Wait. Oh. How did your wife die? <laughs> Well, she had to be taken away. Okay. She was... And then, uh, same happened with the rest of them. And the priest took him away. I hear it was for the greater good. For the greater good. Would you like to hear more about it? Yeah, go ahead, tell me. Okay. With that, the vision Brother changes. Just sniffing his head now. <laughs> no, no. The vision changes, and you're, uh, standing in the... I told you not to go there yet! <laughs> you're standing... <laughs> you want. You're standing in the middle of town again, and the priests are leading a... Basically a cage wagon. <laughs> There's a number of people sitting there lying in the cage, um, and, uh, the, they're, two of the priests are moving towards one of the houses. What have you learned? <laughs> Just from all this! <laughs> Just figuring it out. Came up with it. <laughs> yes. Okay, one of the... Uh, one of the priests, the one that originally talked to Rinla the last time, walks over to you and says, What are you talking about? Have you learned the meaning? What are you talking about? The, of all this. What are you talking about? You're... you're not speaking... Wait! Is there something wrong with you? No. <clears throat> There's something wrong with you? I point over at John Guy. He's actually... he has the plague. <clears throat> the guy's eyes kind of widen and says, How do you know about that? I slit my wrist and I'm an emissary. <laughs> An emissary for Reza. Sorry. This started out so well when I come back and... <laughs> the, the guy motions to one of the other priests who comes over and, and begins to cast a spell. Uh, looks like he's targeting um, Joe. Listen, you don't have to... You don't have to detect magic on him. I was in direct contact with Reza, who I assume is, like, is the god that you worship. No, we don't worship a god. We just protect the people. What are you talking about? This is a video game. You can't just bring real gods into a game. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. uh, the two other priests are uh, pulling people from the house, and uh, the other priest stops and says, well, maybe we should just take him in for safety's sake. The other priest nods and says, that's probably a good idea. Definitely. Wait, how many people did you guys go. take in for safety's sake? Well, normally we wouldn't, but he suggested it would probably be in, in your best interest. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're take if you're care okay with you. that. <laughs> no, I mean, whatever's for the good of the town. Okay. For the greater good. Would you like to be taken in For as the well? greater good. Since no. you said, well, you, said you, were, you were in contact Don't with the <clears throat> Yeah, with a god. Oh. I'm, I'm, you're dr I'm, you're drawn I'm sorry, I didn't understand I'm the difference. Very... <laughs> uh, you sure you don't want to be taken in with your friend? Fine, I'll come and see what you guys are doing. Okay. Okay. They, like, oh, they, they load they load you up in the wagon with the other That's people weird. and take you to the temple. Uh, <laughs> they then unload you and usher you into a, a basically a blank room. And with that they basically sit you all down and or lay you, you down on, lay you down on small cots. They're very basic uh, wooden benches. And they tell you all that uh, they hope you have a good night's sleep, and they'll start your treatment in the morning to make you better. Hmm. Thanks. Cool. 
Thanks. Bro. Treatment. I cough on one of them. <laughs> during, during the night, uh, one of the priests comes in and begins slitting people's throats. Uh, okay. Well, if that's what they think is best. And then when they get to you, the vision changes. That makes sense. I was going to say, <clears throat> I just wanted to do something. Uh, you now are in a present uh, vision, and you're alive again. <laughs> you lost one, though. You only have three li- two lives left. <laughs> And this time, you're, you're, the town One is your heart sings. the town is definitely smaller. You, hmm. you, you're guessing about a quarter of the population is missing. Um, some of the houses have been boarded over, but it's, it doesn't look like it did in the original setup. Uh, things are going fairly normally. Um, the, there's some town, there's some priests that are moving about. Uh, there's no cage uh, or anything like that, but there's priests that are moving about, talking to the townspeople. Uh, it looks like they're just getting a feel for if they've seen anything strange or have any uh, strange sicknesses that they've developed that they can't explain, and telling people to remember to come to the temple if they need any help. But other than that, the town looks like it's moving on, along on a fairly normal basis. <clears throat> hmm. Do I recognize any of the priests? They look similar to the other priests, but they're hard to say. They all look very similar. There's men and women and children and priests. The priests are identifiable by their gray robes. Do I just let things happen? Uh, I mean, I guess we could ask a priest. Right, we should we should gain some knowledge on the subject. Sure. See what happens, I guess. Sure. Okay. You walk up to a priest. He turns and says, oh, hello there. Is there anything you'd like to report? I'd like to report a murder. A murder? <laughs> what? I don't know if a murder has ever happened. It happened by the priests to the sick people. Oh, I think you misunderstood. Uh, when the sick people are sick, they, they go to the, the temple by their own volition. They choose to go. To have their throats slit. His voice gets kind of low. How do you know? There. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes widen a little, and he gets a confused look on his face and says, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I am the plague. <laughs> Did you used to be a priest? I don't remember anyone leaving. Sort of. Sort of. No. Oh. I was a priest and a, pac- a patient. You sure there's nothing wrong? Oh! Well, maybe we should take you back to the temple. It'd probably be best for you. Mo- most people are very happy to go. It's for the greater good. Can I go with him? That's fine. I care for him. Okay. Ever since I gave him the plague. Are you, would you like to go with me? <laughs> Polymorph into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> the guy has no reaction at all. I thought you were going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he continues talking to him. I'm sorry, I didn't get your answer. Went south. <laughs> I just, in, in bear talk, I say, sure. He, he kind of stares at you for a little while and is like, I don't understand. He said, sure. Oh, well, if if you're willing, that was quick. Um, sure, just... That's one just... of my two uses a day of being able to understand the animal. <laughs> <laughs> he, he walks you to the temple and uh, he shows <clears> you <throat> into the same container that, that, that you were in last time when you had your throat slit. And says, you'll be comfortable here for the night. And we'll start your treatment in the morning if you're okay with that. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your friend. Could you interpret for me? He has congestion. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. It, it wasn't anything discernible. He was just, like, grumbling. Like, if you say, mm. Well, I guess in that case, are you okay with it? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Okay. Uh, he leaves you alone in the containment room. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody in there? There's one other person in there right now. <clears throat> Hello. I want to talk to that individual. The, the town's person, it's just a man, says, oh, hi. Don't mind this person. You volunteer to come here? Yes, the the, uh, the I have a bit of a cough, and the priest uh, told me that if I've had any sort of sickness, I should probably volunteer to come. Hmm. How long has it been since the priest took all the people away? Oh, you mean when some of the people had to go for the greater good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was maybe a year ago. Mm-hmm. And it's been like this since? Yes. So anytime someone coughs, they come up here? Well, maybe not just a cough, but if they, if they think they've been in contact with anything, anything dangerous as well. Hmm. It makes sense. No one has, no one ever gets sick or, or hurt in town anymore. Hmm. So, <clears throat> when people come here, do they ever come back? Huh. No. Hmm. <laughs> Does that ever make you or anyone else think? Well, not until now. Yeah. It made sense before. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Well, um, I'm gonna be leaving now. See you later. And then I go to leave the... Oh, I thought you were staying here. No, I I already died once. So I'm not gonna do it again. Oh, I'm done with this timeline. It's very annoying. Okay. Do you want to come with like us? Four or five times. Do you think that's best? No. Oh. Because you're probably sick or something, and it's gonna screw up the rest of my game. So just stay here. <laughs> oh, okay. But 
Now that you've been here, you can't leave. Watch me. Wait, I know we can't leave. I try and open the door. Uh, okay, you try to open the door and the vision fades. And you're back in the original uh, setup that you were when you first got here. There's a procession of people heading out of town. And they're basically uh, heading towards a funeral or a, a, a memorial ceremony. Most of the town is, about half the town is empty. And maybe a little bit more than half the town uh, boarded over. Exactly identical to when you first got in this room. As soon as the priest starts giving his you googly or whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, or his whatever, I'm going to like bug it. <laughs> you say some shit. Okay. You look to you. <laughs> they get into the graveyard and you start talking over everyone else. Yep. So I use whatever spell I need to okay. to make myself super loud. All right. And say, Polymorph. <clears throat> <laughs> Polymorph! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Same. You have relinquished your free will and your ability to think for your safety. All of the deaths are on you. Continuing, continuing in this way in the future is going to give you some peace of mind, but you will be ignorant and you will never learn, and the priest will continue to kill you. That's all I have to say. You all are idiots, and you have not learned anything in all of these times that I've visited you. I know you don't understand that. But anyway, when you go to the priest's place, they just kill you. They don't try and cure anybody. You're judgy. Okay. Jeez. Um, if there's anyone next to me while he's going to speech, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with him. And then I look at the priests, and I give them a very disapproving glare. All right. With that, the vision fades. I know that one. And you reappear. That's his approving glare. Kabar. Kabar, it's been like 30 seconds or less since they left you. You barely got time to get settled. Oh, hey. Huh. I'm still dying. I was erasing his obscene drawing in the book. <laughs> Painting over it with white. No. No. Disrespect. Oh, what'd you guys learn? I forgot. <laughs> well, that's fine. I only had to wait a few seconds. No, seriously, I had it and then I forgot. <laughs> oh. Joe's too dumbfounded. You okay? Uh, oh, yes. A female apparition. I'm trying to think, man. I only got a minute. <laughs> a female apparition appears. She looks at all of you. Is she here? And then she points at Joe. What have you learned? A lot. I learned a lot. Mm. It's really opening my eyes to the ways of the cycle of life. But, you know, <laughs> like, stuff's going to happen, but you just can't blindly follow it, you know? Like, you can, you can hold on to the horse's tail as it runs past and just, you know, see where it goes. Or you can pull yourself up to, like, the back of the horse and be like, hey, horse, where are you going? Is that your whole answer? Yeah, that's pretty much it. An ancient elven fable. Yeah, that was all in elvish, so it makes more sense in elvish. Than I liked where you were going with that at first, but then it trailed off and you started to have the answer. I know. I'm so close. I can feel it. Let me just play four or five more times. She turns and looks oh. at Rinla. That's like Tell four me. minutes for me. What did you learn? Yeah. Learn that no, no matter what we try and do, yeah, we do not just alter this. the natural course. Also, one thing that, that I learned was that you do not gain any knowledge if you have an overriding concern with your safety. Thank you. You've completed your course in record time. That's what I said. It's <laughs> <laughs> a key run. <laughs> the answer I was looking for, as determined by Reza, you cannot change the cycle of life. Congratulations on passing. I'm level 11 now, guys. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Carry your crap for us. <laughs> Journeyman status has been awarded. Does that mean I'm a zombie now? I can't. <laughs> I'm clapping. <laughs> the apparition fades. Wait, did you say journeyman status is awarded? Yeah. He just wanted his journeyman status. A secret door slides He's open. He's a real wizard room, now. Revealing a small room with nothing more than an arcade Wait. room trap. Wait. Directly across from the altar. So it opens up through here. This door remains closed. I see. <clears throat> Alright, do I recognize the room? You do. Yeah. 
It looks like an anti-magic room. Seriously, you have to multi-class into wizard now. Wasn't there, wait, wasn't there something <laughs> in one of the other fours that you had to be a genuine wizard to do? Or to get past? I'm basically a wizard too. Yeah, he did precipitation on the door to the stairwell. He opened it. No, not that. I don't know. So what's past the room? <laughs> Uh, the room pulses with energy, and you immediately feel a dampening of magical energy around you, stronger than any you've felt, felt before. Every magical item on you seems to suddenly grow heavier, and spells on the tip of your tongue are suddenly hard to recall. Yeah. Isn't he still at 1 HP? Yeah. Yes. Ahead of you, uh, you nice. also see Dive in. Uh, a what looks to be the outline of perhaps another secret door uh, across from the room. There's also what uh, looks to be a simple uh, wheel of letters that have been built onto the wall. There's also an inscription. I'd like to read said inscription if possible. It says, I never was. I'm always to be. No one ever saw me, nor ever will. And yet I am the confidence of all to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. Okay. And there are eight letters on the wheel. Okay. Do you have a picture of that, or shall I begin writing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have a picture of it. Okay. I never was... Okay. I mean, I think it's time, but... There's eight letters on the wheel. Let's see. What, <laughs> what are the letters? Oh, I'm sorry. It's... it's. Oh, let me rephrase so I can make it this understandable. Okay. So, there are... Each, each uh, letter is a separate wheel. Oh, I see. With all 26 letters. Oh. So basically, the answer is a eight-letter word. Oh. How do you spell gravity? Gravity? G-R-A-V-I-T-Y. Okay, I was right. Seven letters. <laughs> it's, not, it's not gravity, guys. <laughs> Corruption. <laughs> That's a lot of letters, if I remember correctly. I guess ten. I don't know if cor corruption is the confidence of all. <laughs> Damn. Knowledge is also nine letters. Eight letters, confidence of all. Can you repeat that riddle one more time? Shh, oh, it's on here. I never was, am always to be. No one ever saw me, nor ever will. And yet I am the confidence of all to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. If you'd like, you can give me a intelligence check for a hint. Nope, you're gonna have to watch us sit here in silence for a while. <laughs> yeah. It's not my strong suit, but sure. Ooh, 17. 17. Kabar, you you remember and piece together that this whole floor is dedicated to a, the goddess Reysa, as right. the other floors have been. And Reysa, you've learned, is a goddess of time. the cycle of life, time, and death, yes. So right. it's probably going to be related to one of those things. Right. So it's probably going to be an answer that's very similar to something along that line. So something that people would be, uh, you know, looking forward to. No. No. Again, not likely the answer for something that no. is the cycle of time. Mortality. Elton John. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mufasa. No, <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> all right, the confidence of all. The confidence of all. What is that one? Stability. Uh, like what's another word for like stability? You know that that does that fact that stuff doesn't change, like constants, consistency. In an attempt to confuse you even more, the current letters. <laughs> are T R M V X U A that are currently showing. Those are seven letters. You're right, they are. <laughs> that is definitely very confusing. Wait, yeah. so is it seven or eight? Sorry, I missed eight. I missed eight. The, L. the L the L's at the end. Oh okay. okay. But it's not like a scramble. Any one of those can be any letter. Right? Like each one of those can be all letters. <laughs> the wheel? I spin it. You spin the wheel. All the letters turn except for the first letter. Ooh. Okay. Maybe that's a gimme. Treasure. <laughs> Trust. Turmoil. Tonsils. Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> eight letters. No, that's eight letters, right? Is there one sure. confidence? Taco Taco. You guys should make it yourself. 
Yeah, I'm like seriously running a blank. Uh, can I can I do an intelligence check of some sort? Yeah. Virtual machines. It was that the whole time. <laughs> why, do you have, <laughs> why do you have six virtual machines? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my good. Uh, intelligence Ooh. check. Really? Yeah. Good for me. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> You're fairly confident that based on the question, it's something related to time. Right. It starts with a T. Right. And it's something that people look forward to. Time, time. But it's something that people can never actually get to. Like afterlife or uh, sort of ish close, but not quite, and not an A. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like you're 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 thinking along the right lines, but you're not you're thinking too much. Simpler than that, and it's more abstract. Tranquil. Again, time related. No. Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday. Still Thursday. No, Tuesday. You're close. Who looks forward to Thursday? The weekend. Time off. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. T. Eight letter word. Let's do time. Everyone Trans. hopes it'll be better. Trunk. Tomorrow? Oh, what? shit. T O M. Yeah, it never was and always will be tomorrow. I never saw me nor will. Yep. That's what it is, isn't it? Okay. Fucking hell. The letters click in. Get <laughs> bet your bottom dollar on it. <laughs> Good job, Redless. It was difficult for me because I never look forward to tomorrow. I don't look forward to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not on Monday. <laughs> it's true. Uh, the wall opens to reveal a 20 by 20 foot room with a large stone chest that is a few feet in length and has been sealed onto the floor. There are many arcane spells oh, no. inscribed, or sorry, arcane seals inscribed upon the chest which pulse a faint pink. A single, terse inscription has been painted on the top of the chest. The sign, the compass, the untamed, the untrained. Separated to conceal, restore to peril, part four of six. Four torches blaze with light on the walls, and in the corner of the room is a burning, fiery ring which is elevated off the ground. I'm just going to stay back here in the hallway, guys. Okay. Alright, I can heal myself real quick. Yeah. Yeah, space. How many spells do I have? There's a burning fiery ring yeah. oh, above it. Here's right. something. So the bar can kind of see. I can cast the invisibility or I can heal myself. 2d8 plus 4. Alright. Oh, 15. I just healed myself 15 DM. Wow. That's impressive. That would be eight. Does that mean you're going in? I know. 16 hit points. I can go in if you guys want. Uh, so whose turn is it? So yeah, Bar just went. Fiery ring right there. It's my turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do second wind as well. This should be uh, another leg. What should be another leg? Inside this box. Oh. Womp womp. I, was, I didn't realize what you meant. <laughs> I healed for 12. <clears throat> Last chance for pre-Black Friday flash sales. Oh boy. Thanks, new rate. How exciting. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Good. You guys want to do that rope trick again? Not rope trick, but like tie a rope around my waist. <laughs> so you can pull me out. Sure. Okay. I tie a rope around my waist. Did I take off the backpack? Or somebody. Also, you notice that this pulsing anti-magic rune fades. Mm, weird. Mm. Is there another pulsing anti-magic rune? No. Mm, weird. So do I notice that other rune? Or, uh... The fiery thing in the middle of the room? Yes. It's like a fiery ring, fiery ring that's just floating in the middle of the room. Oh, it's not, oh. It's not big, it's just, it's like literally a ring of fire. How, how big? Um, probably about two feet in diameter. I'm going to put my hood down, I think. Okay, I have an advantage to a save, one per day. Okay. My hood is down. There's a rope tied to my waist. Man, I should have kept that dragon splint of fire protection on. Yes. I sold that, right? We talked about this? Okay. I'm going in. Because it was too heavy to carry around all the time. Wait, right. all the uh, chests have been easy to open, right? Just... Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. All right, I'm going to walk in and around the fire. Okay. You start walking forward. Wait, who's holding the rope? I am. Okay. I'm going to walk in. You start walking forward, and about the time you get to the edge of the room, the three wolves that you saw at the very beginning 
just kind of step into the room, just out of nowhere. Hmm. <clears throat> they turn and look at the the chest, and then turn back to you, snarl, teeth bared, and uh, adopt a very aggressive stance. I just, slowly. I yell up. Hmm. Can't you just tell them to do stuff for you? Um, <laughs> I will use. Speak with spectral animal. Tame. Primeval awareness, or I can talk to animals. <laughs> okay. How long does that take? I don't know. It's your move. <laughs> it's your thing. It's based on regular stuff. Um, I don't think it takes very long. So you, you try to communicate with them, and you realize these things are above animal intelligence. That makes they, sense. they stare at you, and um, while their body kind of decomposes and reforms, Right. And you realize that they're not simple beasts. <clears throat> I realize that you are not simple beasts. <laughs> Every time. My compatriots and I are here to save the world. And we need access to that ch chest. We've been through a lot. I'm dying. And if you could just let us through, that'd be ever so nice of you. They purposefully walk and form a line. I think they're going to let us in, guys. Blocking the chest, essentially. Are you going to make me kill you guys? Because I will. They snarl, but they don't advance. Uh, Threaten the ghost wolves, huh? You know, alright if I shoot them? Uh, are we in any condition to fight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I got 16 hit points. I'm like half a... F help you. Are you suicidal? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> right, do you want to roll a new character? Or are you sick of this guy or something? I want a full rogue. He's not afraid. No, I, I can probably kill him. I get three hits if I do it fast enough. You also have that ring of fire that who knows or does who knows what. I can shoot that. Uh, yeah. I don't you know how what? much help I'm going to be with the magical fields negating. Oh, it disappeared. It disappeared. Oh, yeah, go for it. A little after it disappeared, those things showed up. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to take three quick shots in succession and then roll Wait, away. What? Oh, it's too late now. Roll behind Kabar after that. Shit. <laughs> you got this, man. You're good. All right, I'll let you Wait, take... can I just... Hold on. Wait, just just hold on. Just wait. Thank you. And I take oh, my no, gloves, right and weird. I do hypnotic pattern. Okay. So, basically, as soon as uh, Joe pulls out his bow and starts drawing an arrow, the wolves just kind of lunge. So, roll for initiative. <laughs> You guys aren't exactly being stealthy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him. <laughs> oh no. You're not really surprising them since they're staring at you. It's alright, I'm good guys. 12. 13. No. 11. No. 12. 11. And 13. Save me, come on! God damn it, Joe. 13, 12, and 11. No, I got 12. Yeah, I got. Oh, sorry. 13, 12, and 11. In nice yes. row. I had, it, I had it written down correctly, I just pointed it incorrectly. Gotcha. Kabar, pull me back! Pull me back, Kabar! I dropped the rope. This is <laughs> Please. This is close the door. Close the door. You, you, guys are, you guys are timeless. I love you guys so much. You forced me right. to do this. So the first wolf basically lunges forward, disappears, and reappears directly behind Joe. This is how people die. These are how TPKs happen. <clears throat> we could have just, like, slept. That's what I'm saying! Why did you stop me? You was, what? Does a you don't let Joe make decisions. 14? 15. Missed. All right. The jaws clamped down behind you, but luckily it didn't time itself correctly. And I make, I'm make. i saying this, this is my missed. conversation. I say, like, you shouldn't let me make decisions. I did not give you permission. The next one for this jump decision. disappears, reappears right in front of you and chomps down upon you. You feel like they're somehow, they're basically using their tactics together to flank you. Wow. Uh, an eight misses. Ugh. I am so roguelike now. Kabar, you're up. So they basically just step into, out of basically just nothingness, attack you, but you are so dodgy that you managed to <laughs> dodge out of the way of their bites. Alright. <laughs> okay. Where'd it go? I have 16 hit points, I'm good. Alright, maneuvering uh, attack, one of my new ones. Joe, I'm gonna save your life. Don't forget about opportunity attacks. It negates that. Oh, F yeah. You're welcome. Save my life. I'm How much damage about to do? Uh, 
Only if you're alive. Live 25 and 25. Those are both hits. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, that, that. So. 26 with the. I only rolled a 1 on the superiority die. Both of those 20. So you rolled the same number twice? 16 and 16, yeah. Okay, so that counts oh, no, as your sorry, first hit because your first hit was with disadvantage because you realize that the creature basically almost tries to sidestep you even though it doesn't even see you. Looking, basically standing directly behind it, it tries to dodge out of its way and you realize it's very difficult to hit, but you still manage to readjust your attack and swing into it. I see. I so you had disadvantage on your first attack. Ah, so I have to roll again for my second? Yeah, you have to roll again for your second. You don't have disadvantage on this one. Oh, I don't have disadvantage on this. You do not have disadvantage Okay, let me on redo that, I guess. Sorry. I said it, but I guess I didn't say it before it registered. Okay, um, 24. Okay, those are both hits then. All right. Uh, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 12 plus 7, 19 damage on the maneuvering attack. Okay. And then uh, 15 damage on the regular. And I'm going to have, Joe, you have up to half your speed to move. I think I get a pick for you. She's a friendly creature can use its reaction to move up to half its speed without provoking opportunity attacks. So he gets to choose if he wants to use his reaction. Oh, you're stealing my reaction? No, he's giving you the option I'm to use your reaction. Me. To move. Should probably use it. You're surrounded to get, by to get out of those there. dogs. Yeah, but I can't go anywhere in 15 feet. Because you can get out behind of me. Range. Can I? Yeah, you're in. You can get behind me. I don't know because that's rough terrain, isn't it? Five, ten. Ooh, yeah, it's double yeah. terrain to move through someone. So you can get five. That would be 20 to move there. Or I can use my reaction. So first one's five. The second damage. one's 10, and that's 20 to move into. Is that a door? That's a wall. Why don't you just oh. run up to the chest and open it? <laughs> uh, maybe, actually. There's also that flaming Five, ring. 10, 15. Yeah. You can get to the chest. You could even probably pop it open, because so far they haven't been sealed in any way. It's your choice. I'm not going to use it. Okay. What? I mean, I'm going to save my reaction to half the damage. Oh, God. Well, you get a new reaction at the beginning of your turn, which is next. Do you? Yeah. No, metagame is what this is all about. Then I'll move over here. Oh, nice. He Kabar, when you slice into the creature, the the basically you just cut huge chunks, basically cut directly through it, and just the body just kind of gets mutilated as you basically cut through like basically decayed flesh. But then it starts like reforming into a newer, uh, like pristine coat around the cut figures. But it does. It, it's hard to say if it actually hurt it or not. I mean, it seems to move slightly slower, and t it took notice of the hit. But the way the body keeps morphing, it's hard to say. I see. I'm going to shoot the wolf, point blank. Okay. <clears throat> 27 to hit. That is a hit. Sneak attack? Uh, yeah. Except for that hunter's mark. 22 piercing. 22 piercing. Okay. The arrow slides all the way through the body and just cuts a huge gouge in it, and as the arrow hits it, you can see the Kabar's cut the appear in the wolf at the same time. I'll shoot it again. 17. Okay, that is a hit. 7. Alright, 7 damage. Another arrow plows into the creature. That was not a very good roll. And... Um, Renleth? Right? Yep. Or do you need to move? Let me... Uh, Alright, now I can push back everyone, right? It's just... Or push past the, the dog and Kabar to get behind Kabar. So you can disengage as your bonus action and then use your move action. Moving through Kabar is double movement, so he'll take 10... 10 feet to move through. So two squares. Okay, I'll do that. You can move me. I'm going to disengage and run away. So that's 10, 15, uh, 25. So you got one more if you want to move back again. 30. Sure. You got this, Kabar! Actually, you've got two more because you've got 35, so you can move directly behind Rinleth. Oh, want. yeah, I can. Thank you. I forgot. I keep forgetting your what elf. That's super fast. Okay, Rinleth, you're up. What elf barbarians is where it's at. I'm, I'm, I'm running up to right here. <laughs> Misty step. It's right here. Okay. On top of my open, open the chest. All right. It's a ring of fire. It's a floating ring of fire. <clears throat> the chest opens to reveal a perfectly preserved I skeletal heard the left song? leg, preserved in a glass burns, case burns. that rests upon a plush white satin lining. An inscription oh. on the inner lid, lid of the chest reads, 
Four times you've ignored the warnings. Nothing can get through to you. Yeah. Prepare yourselves for the unknown. Do not try to control what you cannot understand. Only accept it. Yep. At the same time, uh, you hear the word die. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the fiery circle expands and explodes. She's counting on that. Everyone uh, in a 20-foot radius, give me a deck save. So that's me and the wolves. Yep. Okay. Yep, All, every wolf plus you. That is just out of range. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. 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 So that didn't help. Wait, wait, hold on. Well, the wearer has inspiration. Then we use a bonus action to grant an inspiration die to another creature within 30 feet. Can you do two? No. So I, I only got an 11. All right. Okay. Rimleth fails, Give one of the one. wolves fails, the other two wolves almost seem to blink out of existence for a second when uh, the, the fireball explodes. Um, both of those wolves take no damage, no effects from the uh, uh, fireball, uh, but the other two of you take full damage. Okay, I'm ready for it. You're as, good. As I reach down to pick up the presumably leg. Oh, you're, you got 64 hit points, you're good. Yeah, I haven't been hit yet. Just waiting for a fireball. <laughs> I mean, as long as there's not 10 fireball dice, you're good. 11. Yeah, there's like 16. No, that's not bad. 10. Just missed you step out of there. I heard he did. I heard he used it. To get so, there. 19 points of damage. No, that's not bad. It's not good. Would have killed me. <laughs> so I, I, I take yeah. I take it. Well, you have one. And I hold 16, on to it. 16, oh, that's all right. Yeah. Um, and then... Okay, so you pick up the glass case. Mm -hmm. um, with that, we'll move to... That's uh, interacting with an object, moving, bonus action. So you actually still have an action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I guess it's technically interacting with two objects if you're picking it up. Because interacting with the first object oh, yeah, is sure. the lid. Um, that would be a lot to do in six seconds. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... So you've got some a little bit more movement, but no actual attack. Yeah, it's, it's not... not, not. I, I think instead of instead of picking it up at, kind of as the last sort of um, thing that I'm going to try and do is um, cast mirror image. Okay, so you're going to leave it in the chest. It'll be in the chest right now. All right, so you mirror image for three images. Um, is it three or four? I think there's a total of four, but it's three images, if I remember correctly. Three, you are correct. Let's go. And the rules. Rules ruin the game, DM. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wolf steps, appears directly behind you, and attacks you. Or does it? Well, it attacks you. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot of ghosts in this room. 20 to hit. Okay, it bites one of my duplicates. All right. And the... Duplicate disappears. You're down to two images. And Wolf White. No, stay there. Turns around. You're not the only one who can blink, stupid dog. <laughs> Looks angrily, but then turns and bites a uh, at the bar. Attempts to bite. Attempts to bite. With an eight. I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to repost or anything? Oh yeah, sure, why not? Kill him, kill him, kill him. Ooh, okay. Um, Disadvantage. Shit. 16? Uh, that is a hit. Hmm. Huzzah. That's just, uh, okay. Uh, 24? 24 damage. God. The thing basically <sighs> deteriorates. The, all the uh, flesh falls off. The wounds that you and Kabar or you and Joe have inflicted on it just suddenly start bleeding out. And the creature just kind of just falls into a heap of bloody mess and then just disappears. Stay alive for one more round. Nothing's left. Red left. Makes a super Metroid death noise. And How did that go? I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, it's basically any NES sound. <laughs> the other wolf turns around, surrounds uh, Rinleth, and bites at him. Uh, wow. Does a 15 hit? No. It doesn't, because wow. I, I remembered to um, do my mage armor. 
Okay. For earlier in the day. Oh. Oh. These things haven't connected it yet. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm grateful for that. That's um, a good thing. They hit kind of hard. Cool. We've got two arrows left. Five. <laughs> ten. Oh, maybe 15. the next level has a general store. Uh, a traveling merchant. I mean, I'll be... <laughs> not super deadly with a scimitar, but pretty deadly with a scimitar. Okay. Or a heavy crossbow. Can you... Put me, like, right behind... Yeah. Uh, I guess... Yeah. Okay. Distracting strike. Okay. Um, and do I still have disadvantage? Uh, no, you do not. Actually, you do against that guy. Oh no, I'm sorry. Goading attack. No. Yeah, you'll have disadvantage against him. Okay. And why was that? Uh, basically, he... Is this a ghost guy? No, it's not that he's a ghost. He basically anticipates your moves and it's almost like he knows exactly where you're going to strike at him. So he dodges just as you go to attack him. Okay, this time, in my head, <laughs> I think of an, in a different position. Okay. Which... You still have disadvantage. Oh. We'll see if it works or not. Shit. I, I, yeah, it's going to hit. <laughs> um, 23? Yeah, that's a hit. Nice. Basically jumped into your sword. 12. 12 damage? No, no, no. 12 for my next one. Oh, the second one. The second one doesn't have disadvantage. Right, but I still got 12. Okay, that's a mess. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so goading attack. Um, I try to get it. I have to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yep. Oh, right. I can reroll that. Nice. 19. No, I can't. I imagine that's uh, a success. That's a success. Yeah, I rolled really well. <laughs> and it was only 14 damage. Shit. If only I could roll that well in my attack rolls with these things. Okay, so that's your attacks. You moved up. You good? Um, I guess I'll do, uh, what's it called? The action surge, yeah. Okay, two more attacks. And disadvantage on those? Nope. Okay. You got normal attacks now. You just have to hit it once this in a round. Alright, uh, 17. That is a hit. 20. That is a hit. Um, I'm just gonna double attack that same one. Okay. Uh, okay, 16 damage on the first, and then 11 on the second. So 27. Yeah. Alright, Joe, you're up. I will shoot Gray. Okay, you got a clear straight shot at him. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And he's not expecting it at all. Don't miss. 16. That's a hit. My Jedi mind trick didn't work. Snack attack. Arrow plunges into the, his back flank. Those rolls are good. 22. 22 points of damage. That arrow hits hard, but it's still up. I'll shoot him again. <laughs> uh, it's 20 to hit. That's a hit. 8 damage. 8 damage. Alright, still ticking. Uh, are you out of arrows? I got a magical arrow. Your immobilizing arrow? Yeah. Why don't you use that one? Because it was too late. Don't you have a hunter? I mean, yeah, I mean, I can five run feet. That. Yeah. You, you can hit the other dude and bank it off the side of the wall. Well, I would Trick run behind Kabar. Yeah, I guess I'll use the last Trick shot. shot. That's the one you reach. 21. That's a hit. And I Does damage. To avoid. Uh, so I got a 16 on my save. It's easy. 13 save. Okay. Uh, but 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage to the other dude. Okay. <laughs> Rinleth. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and then I draw my shield. What are you doing with your bow? I kind of have a bow and a shield. Okay. I'll draw a sword in the next turn. All right. Yeah. I am going to attempt to touch Gray, gray, gray Wolf. Okay. This isn't the time to get the animal at him, or how do you say? So, um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try and shock and grasp it. I wouldn't be surprised if you had use your time. Is it a disadvantage or not? animals than me? No. Okay. So it is animals. a... It's a 15. So it's an action to pull out a shield. It's not a free action. Because you have to strap it to your arm. That's right. It's like a whole thing. Mm -hmm. You have to throw your attacks to do it. I draw a sword. So bow and sword? Yes. Or, <laughs> or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what was it to hit? 15. 15 is a hit. Oh, good. 
Which one are you hitting? Gray. Gray? That's right. I remember that now. Gray. Probably dead. 12 points of shocking damage. Gray dies. Gotta help. <gasps> oh, he's the only one I liked. Shocked. This is gonna be a complete you... and total waste because he's nice. not even gonna get, get it. hit in. Does a 16 it. hit? Ooh, it does. Maybe. No, yeah, it hits. Wow, I finally got a hit in. Shit. He's finally getting <laughs> one thing right. right. He had more HP than both of us combined. D8. <laughs> Does he? That's the way it no. should be. He had 49? Uh huh. Why do you have so many hit points? I need a healing win. Nice. Or a healing surge or whatever. I, I can never right, remember so the name. The fight second hits you, but then you feel basically action necrotic shows. damage action. fuse into your body surge. as well as yeah. it kind of decays your body no. suddenly. Secondly. And you take a total of. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage. Yikes. Is that worse than the fireball? It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's finish this off. Grab so, my bow. Those take same. a step forward. Those braziers in the corner, are they lit? Uh they are lit with like a magical fire. It doesn't produce heat. Oh well that's just illuminates the Kabar doesn't know that. <laughs> You're pretty sure you don't feel any heat from them. <laughs> For the size of the light, you should feel something. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a pushing attack, I guess. No, menacing attack. Okay. Make him scared. Yeah, scare a ghost. See how that works out. Not with the world of 19. He can make saves. That's all this one can do. Is there a disadvantage on this one? Or Yes. Shit. Okay. Um, 18. That is a hit. And then my second. That's... Oh. <laughs> Damage! Ouch! That's 1d10, right? Yep. Oh no. Don't kill me. Ooh. Yikes. Max. Max. Ooh. Nice. Hey, you really slipped. Ah! <laughs> oh, you're wrestling your axe. Ah! Oh. Just grabbed it just directly on a bar and just slam your hand through it. It's weird to see blood spurting before you hit the animal. <laughs> we need to get you a lanyard or something for that. <laughs> Why don't we just take these barbs off? <laughs> Because <laughs> they look cool. <laughs> it looks so cool. Playing with fire. So emo. That's alright though. Uh, 21 damage. Okay. Alright. Yeah. It's, it's hurt, but it's still ticking. Joe. I'll run up. Alright. Bow and scimitar in hand. <laughs> dual, that's dual wielding. It's totally dual wielding. So you get, like, what, disadvantage? <laughs> Uh, so I am going to... Slash it? Yep. That's a good roll. Yeah, it's a 26 and a 15. Less is disadvantage than just 15. Both are hits. So the first hit is sneak attack. Uh, 13... 16? That's good. 16 points of damage. Alright. Thing is heavily wounded, critically wounded you could say. The flesh is just melting off of it. And the second hit was eight. Bones. Eight damage. Okay. There's, again, not much left of this thing. And then I'm going to draw a hand axe with my other hand. After I drop my bow. Oh, I was going to say, you're missing that. <laughs> Alright, you, you drop your bow to the ground. And it clatters. And I'm going to hit it with my hand axe. The bow? You draw and attack as a bonus action. Because drawing the act, dropping is free. Yep. Drawing is a interaction with an object. And attacking is bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's legal. So, well, that's a 10 to hit. That's a miss. So, you tried to be cool and fast, but you just Good got ahead of yourself and you didn't quite get a good shot on it. So, Renleth, you're up. Okay. First things first. I think it was actually less than that, because I think that's my ranged attack bonus. Magic missile no. at third level. Okay. Three. Um, I need a knife. Seven. I can't touch that with a knife. 13. You can put it in like a little sheath thing. 18 points and 4 damage. Alright, the thing disappears as it, as it quickly dies. Okay. Typical. I have no so. chance from that. Wait, do I have a dagger? Magic missile is a good spell. It's a good cleanup, and it's good if you definitely need a hit. Yeah, if you just... Yeah, I mean, just, the damage isn't great on it, but it's good for what it does. Yeah, absolutely. And you can always... Cast it at higher level for some extra certainty. Okay, I pick up the thing. Okay, you pick up the glass case. Is it a leg bone? Um, what did I say it was? I don't remember. I um, said what it was. It should be a leg, unless it's a head or a torso. Skeletal left leg, preserved in a glass case. Joe, will you open up your bag, please? 
I shove it in my bag. Okay. Just opening the bag, uh, as you pick up the, the case Don't from, it. from, uh, from Rinlet, by the time you get the case in your hand, it basically just kind of almost hops into your bag. You don't even have a chance to put it in itself. Oh, Jesus. And it, it clicks next to the other cases. Good. Give me a perception check. Mm-mm. I don't want to. <laughs> I close my eyes for the rest of the campaign. Like 21, I think. 21. So when no. you glance down after Nin- the 19. cases click together, 19. you notice that those bones now have uh, thin sinew on them. Mm. Ew, there's thin sinew on these things, guys. Healthy. Yeah. I give they Ranger Joe a before. stern look and say, I can't believe I have to, I'm the one that has to say this, but if we are going to survive this dungeon, we need to be more careful than jumping into a room full of ghost walls <laughs> when we are almost dead. I pick up the two and a half arrows that I find. Okay. Roll percentile to see if it's uh, the last one's recoverable. Kabara, I'm almost insulted to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Under 50. Or is it, no, it's a regular arrow, so under 50 if you, you recover it. Unless it's one of your special ones and it's under 75. AD zero? Uh, no, it's 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 in pieces. What's AD zero? That's... Eight zero is 80. It is 80, right. So I have two. Or is that 90? That'd be 90, wouldn't it? Oh, you want me to roll for each one? Or just that one? No, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with you doing the, the half thing. Oh, okay. I'm good with that. So I have two arrows. Unless you want to have a chance of not having any arrow left. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if you want... That was 80 again. If you, <laughs> Weird. If you want me to count for every arrow I use, no, it's I, three around. I'm okay with you doing the half thing and then rolling for the extras. Uh, it's simple like that. Alright, I'm gonna switch to my crossbow, guys. Do you have bolts for that? Be right back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Joe's still got bolts. Yeah, I have three bolt boxes. Hmm. 